Hey everybody, I'm Drew Hanflon, and today I'm going to be replicating a chair that one of my teachers has in his classroom. It's a fairly simple lounge chair, it's got some cool tapers, I've done a couple sketches, and I've done one full-size sketch, and I think I have everything figured out. I have this huge piece of poplar to work with, and hopefully I can get everything out of this. I have some other small pieces. I'm going to start with the glue up for the seat part so that that can dry while I work on the legs. Now that that is drying, I'll start to work on the legs. I'm gonna, there's, the front legs and the back legs are gonna be different. So I'm gonna start with just two, one front and one back, cut it out on the bandsaw, and then come trace it again. I'm gonna cut everything way longer than it needs to be so that I have plenty of, of material to work with. And right now I don't know the exact dimensions of the legs. Um, I'm not sure if the bandsaw can take this thick poplar yet. I'll just try it out and see. Hopefully it can, because that's my main plan. But I'm planning to do most of the shaping and everything on the bandsaw. So the legs are pretty well finished, they're looking really nice, everything's pretty uniform, and so I tried to work and shape everything on the bandsaw, but I just don't know enough about the bandsaw just yet to be able to, to shape freehand and everything. I'm still experimenting with blades, I'm pretty sure I have the wrong blades on there, but 
So I just turned to power carving on this and that worked really well. I used about a like a 40 grit disc on the angle grinder and that made quick work of just smoothing everything out and then I finished it all up with um, my block plane. Now I'm going to start working on the seat part. It's pretty simple. I'll probably do some power carving later on it but I'm just gonna I'll cut it out on the bandsaw and then I'm gonna cut notches in the legs to sit that in. slots into all the legs to fit the seat inside here but I'm realizing now that I should have done this before I carved these because it's gonna be hard to hold these on the table saw with them being wobbly but we'll see how it goes Because this is such a weird shape, I made a, a really simple jig that just holds that just holds the leg at, a, at an angle like this so that I can run the sled through on the table saw. And then this end is supported by just a little piece of wood. seat is carved pretty much completely. There's just a little bit left like around the legs, but I'll do that after I, I put it together. It's looking really good, I think. The I'm happy with the dimensions and it seems like everything is going to be alright. Now what I need to do is put the armrests on both of the legs on either side and I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that yet. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to take the legs off, cut them to size on the bandsaw, and then maybe I'll do a tenon that goes into the, the arms. I'm not sure yet, but I, um, I think that's what I'm going to do.
I stopped and took a break from working on this because there are a couple issues that happened. I shouldn't have carved the legs before I cut these joints because they're not fully square, which is okay, but because they, um, they weren't square on the crosscut sled. And I cut on the wrong side of my line, so it's way too short. And so it's like a little under 16 inches right now, so it's like a, it, it's, it's pretty small still. So, I'm going to continue with it, and I think I'm just going to, like, act as this is a prototype, and it's not going to be perfect. I don't have enough wood to, be, to remake the legs, so I think I'm just going to recut it and cut some blocks to fill in this gap down here. I think it'll work okay, and then the, the arms might be kind of small, kind of short, because I already cut this thing. I cut the, these legs really long so that I'd have room to play with all this, but oh well. I think I can take the clamps off and shave these down. I think I'm gonna do it on the bandsaw and it seems like it's gonna work pretty well. It looks, they look pretty nice right now. I just hope it's gonna be tall enough. Alright, so that's where I'm going to end it for this video. Um, it was just getting too long, and especially, um, I'm going to do two videos for this. And especially in the next video, I have um, just some more things to say, and there's just, there's a lot of work that's going into this. One thing, I don't know if I mentioned clearly, that I'm completely winging this. Like, basically no measurements at all. It's just what looks right, and then, um, that's basically it, yeah. So I had the, the inspiration from the teacher's chair, and so I knew what I was making, and then I drew up a full scale to kind of get some proportions right and stuff, but then after that, that was it. Like, I completely made up all the measurements, and that's partially why I had the mistake um, in the legs, but 
that's fine. I'm, I love doing this, just completely winging it. Because this project has taken such a long time, it, it is very time consuming, um, like it's a lot of effort, but I'm not working on it consistently, so it's kind of been on the back burner lately. And um, so I can tell you now, I'm halfway through the editing the next video, and I think it is going to be a little bit better. And going back to the uh, the long part, how long it's taken, it's kind of like through the whole thing, I've gotten better at um, working the camera. So in the second video, there were some better shots, like some good close-ups, and I'm playing with um, the focuses and stuff. So that's been fun. It'd be great if you'd subscribe so you don't miss part two and that I'll just completely finish it up and um, I'm excited about it to see how it will um, finish up with the edit and stuff. And if that video is already out, go watch it. That'd be great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.